Hello everybody and welcome back to Broken Brian and we got some Nintendo news today. Well, I made a video about three weeks ago that, you know, that Nintendo's lawyers still seem to be kind of in attack mode, that they're not going after PAL World, but they are going after YouTube videos that were showing mods and, and how to modify their games and emulators. And now we've got that there's a game called Gary's Mod Sandbox that's a physics sandbox game on steam that there's no real objective you just play around in the world and just create and do your own thing and it had a lot of mods in it that were of nintendo licensed intellectual property from characters to items to various things of that nature well now it appears that 20 years worth of these mods that have been put into this game have been removed by steam itself due to the DM DMCA request by Nintendo. Now, it was speculation that there were some DMCAs that were not, that were not real, like it says down here, that some players were saying that some of these D DMCA uh, requests were not real. It was just speculation, but it does appear that they were real. They've been removed from the game. And I talked about this three weeks ago. And they've been in full kind of really protecting their intellectual property. They, what was, what was the name of it? Yuzu, the emulator. Uh, they took that company down, like complete, caused it to shudder. And I did a one while back about Gary Bowser, who's going to be literally paying Nintendo for the rest of his life due to his part in is a pirating scheme of putting mods to players he was the middleman i did a video on it you should go check it out and this seems to be legitimate so nintendo's not playing around still and i think people need to be aware that you know you wouldn't like it if something you created and you did that and people were using it without your permission now, if they got permission or paid a licensing fee to use this, this wouldn't be a problem. But these were all made by the game itself, by the developers. So they removed them all. I guess it doesn't say specifically in this article, but probably to avoid being sued. But this is, game's been around for a long time. There's tons of mods and a lot of players use them. And, yeah, they didn't want to be tied up in a massive lawsuit. So, absolutely. So, once again, I'm telling you people, you have to play by the rules. That's just, just how it is. Nintendo is not going to go easy on you. Uh, I mean, they shuttered, they completely took down an entire company to command a court who's going to pay them for the rest of his life and you don't want to be the one that's next and I know there's debate of fair use and that's kind of why Pal World is skating away because they've their stuff may be inspired by Pokemon but it is not directly a ripoff from Pokemon it, that that fair use fair use is going to fair use and uh, and just inspired isn't necessarily theft because lots of games are inspired by other games in its gameplay in its in its character design its world design and things of that nature so yes but we got to be aware this is the thing this is happening so once again people my friends don't mess with nintendo they want to make their stuff and they want to be paid for their work just as you would for any work that you've done so while i do think they go way too hard in the paint for this it still is copyright infringement and i kind of think that you know they may be in the right but i think they they do go way too hard, but I think they do it 
I think their mindset is kind of like the punish hard on the lesser crimes, prevent bigger crimes from happening. That may be their mentality, but I don't know. But in the end, you got to you got to respect the intellectual property of a creator, a company that creates something, and to give it, give the people who worked on these projects their due. You can't steal and profit off theft of an intellectual property from another company. That's just wrong. So, sorry that it took so long to make a video this week, but here we are. I'm still here, just burning the candle at both ends. So, until next time, my friends, as always, I love you all. And there's nothing you can do about it.